Good evening. More government support for the region's retailers. That's the pledge from the newly appointed Minister for High Streets today. But will it be enough? Marcus Jones, who's also the MP for Nuneaton, has been on a tour of Stoke-on-Trent. The city has three of the top ten town centres in Britain worst affected by closed shops. Nationally, almost a thousand high street shops disappeared last year, almost three times the figure in 2013. Here's our Staffordshire reporter, Liz Copper. And the last of the bananas on the front there, pound a bag on those bananas. The Pickstone family have been greengrocers in the potteries for almost 40 years. They have a stall in Hanley's indoor market. Times have been tough though, surviving as independent retailers in the centre of town. There used to be 11 greengrocers in this market and down Stoke Market I think it was 15 greengrocers. My brother was the last one standing and he ended last week. Um, we're the last one standing in here now. Supermarkets are that powerful that they're just squeezing us out now. Your daughter makes them and then you sell them from here. And I take it you're building a reputation up, are you? And Meeting traders, Hopefully Marcus Jones, the new minister with responsibility sort of thing, for high streets. He'd like to see more collaboration between local authorities, yeah, landlords really and retailers. Nobody wants to see high streets and town centres with shops that are unused, which are boarded up and closed. And I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done to actually bring those parties together. And that is starting to happen in parts of the country, particularly where they're running very, very strong town teams, which all came out of the Mary Portis review that was done four or five years ago. Here in Stoke-on-Trent, the number of vacant premises has been a problem. One recent survey suggested almost a third of shops in some parts of the city lie empty, the highest level in England. Some analysts say changes represent a digital revolution, with retailers prioritising online sales over high street shops. So what do shoppers make of the changing face of our high streets? It's just the same shops everywhere you go, isn't it? Every town has the same shops, so I'd like to see a bit more variety. They do a lot more online, I do know that. And that's, that's not bad, but I think at the expense of the high street, which is a shame. What can be done? Because all the shops are shut in, all the charity shops are moving in. They need more variety really around here. To be honest, Stoke needs help. Finding ways to revitalise retailing in town centres is a challenge. Many small businesses hope the odds aren't stacked against them. An investment can help reinvigorate trade. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Stoke-on-Trent. Well,